Well, welcome to the brand new Malcolm Allison Lounge. It's Thank pretty sweet. Yeah. Sellers has probably changed a bit since you were a player. What, yeah. What's your earliest memory of Sellers Park? I actually remember making my home debut. I think it was against Middlesbrough, and I just remember it, it was pretty bleak, to be honest, because it was a, I think it was a Tuesday evening game. It was wet, and it was, uh, you know, you didn't have any covers on the, the Olmsdale end, and it was pretty sparse, I think, the, the crowd as well. But, you know, it, it soon changed, I think, with obviously the improvement to the team. Also, the crowd started to grow and grow, so it, it sort of, in my time here, it just it was uh, it was just nice to see it sort of come from one point to the next to seeing full houses turn up week in week out. And what was it like behind the scenes, like in the changing rooms? Were they pretty pretty yeah. basic? Yeah. You forget, but you know, as soon as you ask that question, it used to be the communal bath, and uh, you just think nowadays that would not happen. I mean, it, it, the pitch wasn't the best at uh, the best of times, but in the middle of winter, you know, we'd all. 12, 13 of us jump in the bath and just lie there for ages sometimes, but it would be plasters and bandages floating on the top. It's, oh, when you think back, it's, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the match day routine? So after that, at the game, did you ever go in any of the, the lounges and the bars? Oh, we used, to, the, we used to enjoy the social after games, and I think that was a big part of Palace as well. I think the players used to hang about and just go for a few beers or a few more beers. But I mean, it was a... We used to sort of socialise with the fans, probably a lot more than what players do nowadays. Was it all pretty basic, the bars back then? Was it just a pub? I remember the, the change downstairs was uh, where they first put the big long bar yeah. in there. I forgot what that room's called now, but... Um, the Right and Bright Bar? It wasn't then. <laughs> probably is now. Yeah. Probably everything's called the Right and Bright Bar now. Yeah. I just think it's changed, uh, obviously, for the better, and it's... I just like to see it improve. I mean, it was my bugbear when I was here. I just thought the team that was growing um, didn't have the facilities, it, training as well, that the, the team deserved. What do you think of this one? It's brand new. It's got kind of a ivy restaurant feel to it. Just pictures on the wall fascinate me. I mean, Malcolm Allison was uh, a coach with Man City, which was my team when I was a, a seven-year-old growing up and learning all about football and him and John Mercer built a fantastic side and obviously he came down here and his flamboyant style really sort of rubbed off and you saw some flair players sort of do their stuff out of the cellars. 